In this video, we'll discuss using Excel to help with homework questions. In particular, the points made here are that you can send data to Excel from certain questions, manipulate it using Excel formulas, and then you'll be able to save that file for later reference. For this, we're using question two of the topic six homework, which involves a hypothesis test for the difference of population means. So here we'll be using a Z test. And you'll see that we're given data sets here. Now we could send data to the calculator by pressing the left hand button here. However, that's sent one at a time. And although we can calculate averages, we can't do more advanced work without entering additional formulas here. And we certainly can't save our work for later. In contrast, if we use this button here, send data to Excel, it will send the data sets, both of them to an Excel file. I'll do that now and show you how that looks. So we press that button and this sends the data to a file that we then open from within Alex. This is a CSV file uh, or comma separated values. So when we save this later, we'll need to save it as an Excel file, XLSX, or the current Excel. Note that we have both of the data in here, but all we have is the data. So at this point, we would add some text, add some formulas, annotation, and uh, that would help us solve the question. I'm going to do that now here and then show you the result. As you can see, I've added some text and computations here to help us with our question. In particular, we needed here to calculate, calculate the mean of both data sets. And we'll then have a test statistic as given symbolically in row 16 here with a formula also given symbolically. And then the Excel formula for that is in C17. And we also calculate the p-value. These are items that you would make yourself notes as you're looking at the example that this is the type of calculation you need. In any case, we now have everything we need on this sheet. We can go back and enter our results for the question and check it there. Once we're done here as well, note that we'll want to save this as a specific file. Instead of the comma delimited file, we'll want to save it as the Excel workbook that way we'll be able to work with it in the most recent version of Excel. And that concludes our notes here on using Excel to help with your homework in Alex.